Hello, Lion Hearts. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. Great to see you again today. John and I are up early. We're going to go out for a little bit of a walk, and then we're going to head over to my friend Kevin's house because we're going to hang out for a little bit. John's going to stay there while I go and do our vlog. I scheduled a tour today to see Barbara Stanwyck's old estate. In the late 30s, when her and her husband, Frank Fay, divorced, and a lot of people say that's what the movie A Star is Born was based off of, she went into business with her manager, who was also, at one point, one of the four Marx brothers, Zeppo Marx. When he left the limelight of acting with his brothers, he became an agent, and they opened a thoroughbred training facility out there in Chatsworth. They both bought 10 acres. They became partners. It was called Marwick, Marx, Stanwick, together. And Barbara Stanwyck owned a house there. She lived in for a couple of years before she sold it to comedian Jack Oakey. So today, that house still exists, and we have a book tour that we're going to go take, and they're going to show us and tell us the history of that estate. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Well, there's an excited face. You know you're going to hang out with Kevin today, don't you? Kevin and his girlfriend? You love going and visiting Kevin, don't you? Yeah, you do. Well, let's go for a walk, bud. Well, John and I have confirmation on where we're going to be spending his birthday. At least two out of the three days. The third day, the place was already booked up, so we could only do two days, but we're going to go to the Carmel Mountains. And I do realize a lot of movies were filmed out there, but we are not doing any filming locations on this trip. So since that's kind of a far drive, I'm trying to find somewhere either the day before or the day after that we can kind of stop off to make it a, you know, not quite such a long day in the car for him. I'm really excited to get to see this ranch today because I actually found a few pictures of Barbara Stanwyck in front of the house, on the ranch with the horses, and various other photos there. Now it's called Oak Ridge, so they very rarely do tours of this, I think maybe just one or two times a year, so we got really lucky of getting to do this today. There's a wall there too. You got it made. Look at you, you little pushover. Getting your birthday scratches in. All right, jaws dropped off. I'm gonna head out to the ranch now. Let's go. Well, gang, here we are. The one's home of Jack Oakey, the one's home of the great Barbara Stanrick, one of the richest women in the world at the time, and one of those hard-nosed actresses that just everyone loved her. Now, there's a famous photo of her standing right here. Now check out this. It's now a historical landmark, so no fears of anything happening to it. Now just imagine this was Barbara Stanwyck when she was with Robert Taylor. When she first started dating Robert Taylor, she would have moved in here. There's another bathroom in here. Now they said the only thing I can't do is they have some copyright photos in the house like that one over there and I can't that would have been taken in here but I, they would prefer that I not show that so if I can find anything online I'll show you it looks like that would have been right here because the beams up here match up exactly with what's in their photograph pretty cool decoration though huh now we're going into the kitchen Now, like I mentioned earlier, this was a huge ranch, but when they first decided to go into business together, this was 10 acres of Barbara Stanwyck's and then 10 acres of Zeppo from the Marx Brothers since he was her manager. Now, what happened was in 1940, um, 
she decided to sell and move. And so she sold the house actually to Jack Oakey, but she sold the rest of her, um, her property as far as everything that the, uh, the thoroughbreds were being raised on. She went ahead and sold the rest of that to Zeppo. So he had full ownership. So think of how many times Jack Oakey and Barbara Stanwyck at separate times would have had meals sitting right here at this little breakfast nook. Would have washed dishes right here. She would have looked out here. This would have been her window. How about that? Really get the feel that you're a guest in the house right now, you know? As if we were washing dishes or something like that. That's the oven. There's the stove. Look at the trim. And that would be looking out their front window to Devonshire. So then it looks like there's a little closet right here. Nothing too fancy. Just says the Oakey House caretaker quarters. So I'm guessing that's probably what's in here. Oh, nope, it's locked. Okay, so I guess that's off limits. Well, let's go out here. Let's see how Barbara Stanwyck would have enjoyed her pool. Oh, looks like a guest house and a lizard. There's the pool. Looks like there's, yeah, we'll, we'll work our way over there. Nice, huh? Here we are. It's like a trophy room. This was Jack Oakey's trophy room. I'm looking right now at a picture of him with a bunch of signed 8x10s of all of his favorite stars. You can see Gene Autry and the wall is absolutely covered and you can see him standing there with his arms crossed. And the reason they don't want me to uh, to really like film some of the images they have in here is because those are copyright images that they don't that they don't have the copyright for, so they don't want me to, you know, film it. But if I can find some online, I'll use it. See if we can find a light switch in here, because this room is just amazing looking. Yeah, there we go. Look at the wallpaper in here. Here's the, uh, looks like the guest house shower. It's kind of crazy that Jack Oakey, I wonder who put this in there originally. It looks pretty old. I wonder if that was a Barbara Stanwyck touch or if that was Jack Oakey touch. And closet. Oh, look at the toilet. And you can see where there used to be something on the seat, but a bunch of butts have worn it off. <laughs> <laughs> there is a window right there, but it's frosted so you can't see out of it anyway, so I won't focus on that. Now let's work our way back outside. Guess this goes, it's locked, but it would have gone outside. Yeah. All right, let's go out to the pool. That's interesting. Trophy shelf up there. In the picture you can see, uh, or the picture that I'm looking at right now is him standing right here. And you can see that doorway off to the side. And he had a, a, a table right here, more framed pictures and stuff on the walls and everything. And then going along the top, he had um, your classic style cup trophies. You know what I mean? Kind of like going across there. Now let's go outside. Now 
We'll be gentlemen and follow the pathway. Some old picnic tables. The pool, and then, I don't know if you can see it, but below the pool is a tennis court, so we'll work our way over there. That's the back of the house. We haven't made our way over there yet. We'll circle our way over and get to there. This is really cool that they have this available for people to come out and tour it. You have to check their website. It's uh, Oak Ridge Estates and it's on Devonshire. They don't do these very often, and, uh, and when they do, I think you, as I did it, I got lucky and got one of the few remaining spots. I think it was $15 to, uh, to come tour this. Usual rules apply, just basically, you know, no flash photography. And, uh, and then, of course, like I mentioned, they, they prefer that you don't uh, show copywritten photos that are in the house. All right, let's go back through here. Now we'll follow this walkway that extends. We'll follow that down in. It's funny, I've known this was here for a while. Um, you know how I found that out was the time that I went to the Valley Relics Museum. And I, I can't recommend that enough to anybody. That's actually open today, but since we're here, we're not gonna go. Um, the Valley Relics Museum, all the people that work there, they know a ton of history about the valley. And they're really cool. And one of the things when I was there, they were telling me how many celebrities used to live up here just to kind of have some peace and quiet. So they just came out and told me the tour is about to start. So I'm going to go take the tour and I'll fill you in as we go. And we just found out right here used to be a hand-selected oak tree that Barbara Stanwyck had put in, but they lost it to disease. But once she sold it to the Okies, it stayed in their family for 60 years. Well, they said this is one of the only fixtures in the house that's original because when Mrs. Oki sold the house because she was getting too elderly, um, vandals had come in and stolen things out of it and took most of the doorknobs and everything, but just not that. And they said that this room would have been Barbara Stanwyck's adopted son's room. It was also Jack Oki's room because he and his wife had separate bedrooms because of his irregular work hours. They said when this stone fell off here during the earthquake, they saw that you can see there's Japanese writing all over it, underneath it. They said that this bathroom is completely original. One of the few completely original rooms from when Barbara Stanwyck would have owned it. So you can see in there, and one thing that they pointed out was multiple shower heads. So now her, or well, her son's bathroom window would have looked out on a 24 hour fitness. We're upstairs right now, now check out this. So this room right here was actually Barbara Stanwyck's bedroom for that three years that she lived here. Her bed would have been located right there. That's what that photo is. Shows how her bed would have been set up. And then I can't show you this photo, but it's actually a photo from here. Looking out the window, you can see a nude Barbara Stanwyck walking right along this path right in front of the pool. Now we're not allowed to go out any further beyond there, but right below the pool, is the tennis court and that was a gift from Robert Taylor for her birthday. In return, she got him a horse trailer for his birthday. <laughs> now, if we go through here, this is actually, this is really cool. This is her dressing room. Are you ready for this? It's got that kind of circusy canopy type 
ceiling and then this is pretty much the way it was when she lived here. You can see the canopy tops going. So in order to open these cabinets, you would have had to, well, you can tell some of them are open already. You would have to move it from there. There's what I meant, there's shelves. Now right here is a picture of her. And this setup right here, this window behind it, this would have been her makeup counter right here with a picture of Robert Taylor. So the makeup counter was right there. And that little picture of Robert Taylor would have been on a dresser right here. Now when she was a little girl, since she was orphaned, at the age of four, her sister was a burlesque dancer and raised her. Oh, this is a dumb waiter. Um, she always dreamed of having a marble, marble bathtub. So inside Barbara Stanwyck's private bathroom was, you guessed it, a marble bathtub with, again, showers with multiple shower heads. And then there's the, uh, that's the mirror that used to be right up here that has fallen off in the original sink. There's the closet. Now they believe a lot of the flowery mural stuff that was all put in by the Okies. Pretty cool, huh? This would have been her shoe rack. You can tell, obviously, the multiple levels of shoes. And then there would have uh, there would have been a chandelier right up here at one point. Back into her room. Now we're gonna go see what's called the mystery room and it was their entertaining room with a big mural that they have surmised that the Okies had put in. They said that is the original fireplace. And then so right in here is the mural room. Now this is really cool. This was their entertaining room. They have pictures of when Barbara Stanwyck owned it in this room, one with her up against that window. I'm sorry we're getting backlit so bad, but. Then the other was right up here. However, it's a different fireplace. So what they've surmised is also that Jack Oakey replaced the fireplace. But look at the mural. There's a picture of Jack and his wife sitting at a chair right here because you can see that tree and you can see that horse behind him. And then I'll show you the bar. This is the bar area. Right here's the, uh, the picture of Barbara sitting in front of that window behind us right there. And then there are the Okies right there sitting in front of that mural right over there. Now this carpeting in this closet, and you can tell they would have had their records here so they would have played their record player out of here as well as kept their alcohol in here. But this is the only piece of carpet that remains in this house from when Barbara Stanwyck had it built. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it matches up with the photo. And then they found photos that there was a, uh, a grand piano right here that they would have entertained their friends. And then here's the view from outside that room looking at the pool. Now the way this was set up was, like I said, Barbara had 10 acres of plot to live on, and then right on the other side of that fence over there is now a car dealership. That was Zeppo, Zeppo Marks. His property, he had 10 acres as well, and eventually when he left, um, the designer Adrian and Janet Gaynor moved in there and lived there for a while. But so they both had 10, 10 on this side, her uh, Zeppo side was 10, and then below them was 110 acres, and that's where all the horse thoroughbred track and all that was. Well, how about that? They're gonna be nice enough to let me walk down and show you the tennis courts real quick because they're actually shutting down the house. Like I said, this is not a, very common thing, they do these tours very rarely, so this just happened to be one of those lucky days. Let's go down. There it is, check that out. 
Think of how many times Robert Taylor and Barbara Stanwyck probably played tennis there, Jack Oakey. That's some history right there, baby. Like I said, birthday gift from Robert Taylor. Oh, and by the way, they said Jack Oakey would always walk on his birthday one lap for every year he was alive around this pool. And on that, we are out of here at Oak Ridge. And on the other side of that fence would have been the Marks residence. And as you can see now, it's just this. I was just driving by and saw this incredible house. I have to show you, not so much the house, but the property. Check all this out. There's a rooster up there. Take a look at all that. You can see the statue there in the center. All kinds of details, what a yard. And they've even got the uh, Doctor Who phone booth over there. Look at that, the little grapes. That is so cool. I love how they decorated this house, great job. I swear, sometimes you just never know what you're gonna find right around the next corner. Well, we watched a ton of sports, and now we're gonna head back to Hollywood, me and the Joster. You had fun, didn't you, bud? You're starting to get tired, so we're gonna head back. Let's go. Well, we're just heading home, sitting in some traffic. Well, Lionhearts, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I wanted to thank Gregory Aguirre for making a donation to my channel today. And I hope you guys all understand how special what we saw today truly is. One of the things that I found out while I was on the tour today was that all of the people that work there, much like Rock Haven Sanitarium, they're all people who just care about that property who are volunteers. And what they said was that had always been known as the Jack Oakey Estate and nobody ever knew that Barbara Stanwyck even owned it until Jack Oakey's wife donated it to USC. USC decided to sell the donation and Councilman Mark Stevens rounded up the money, used those donations to buy that property for the LA Parks and Recs Department without using any public money. Um, and what they found out as they started researching the history was that Barbara Stanwyck was the original person who had had that built. And it was actually through all of Jack Oakey's old checks that are in the UCLA archives, they were able to track down when he purchased a lot of the items that are in that house. So they were able to figure out when it would have been that he bought the house from her. And just uncovering that stuff and getting to see that they had, within the last couple of weeks, realized that that little chunk of carpet was originally from Barbara Stanwyck's time there. I mean, it's just those kind of things make it so much fun to go out and see these. They are hoping to uh, basically restore the the orchard part, not the, the section that the house is on, but they're gonna turn the rest of that beyond the tennis courts and the pool into park area, and hopefully at some point make that house available to more people more often. So, hope you guys enjoyed seeing Oak Ridge tonight. I know I did. A little bit of Barbara Stanwyck history, a little bit of Jack Oakey history. Pretty cool. Have a great night. We have another great vlog tomorrow and another great vlog the day after that and the day after that and the day after that. So come back and see me. I appreciate you all watching. Thank you. Have a great night and goodbye. <laughs>